Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the Expert Walkthrough for Dark Souls 2. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And, uh, last time in the Dragon Shrine, we actually stomped that invader. I don't know if we stomped him, I mean, he, he almost got me, that was quick. That was incredibly close, too close for comfort. But, thank goodness we got him. Um, okay. So when you go here, you're going to face a brand new enemy. These are the Drake Keepers. They are quite powerful. I mean, literally. It's kind of like an amped up old knight, but they hit much, much harder. I know for a fact that you can, uh... You can say goodbye to getting through this level smoothly, because I know that people are going to invade me. They also have that weird... I don't know, like projectile magic doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it's it's annoying either way if you put on the gold serpent ring or wear the jester helmet or something you can up your chances of getting their full armor set or their weapons their straight shield is really good and uh the shield they drop is really good the armor is really thick it's heavy very defensive now this Ferris Lockstone here is going to take you to a chest that has the best staff in the game for intelligence builds. It is a Staff of Wisdom and it gives you the uh, Set of Judgment, which is the Faith-based set, I believe. Yeah, I can't remember if it... It doesn't have a Faith requirement, I guess. It is uh, the Armor Set of the Partner, though. Yes, but the Staff of Wisdom is incredibly good. There is skills with an S in magic, requires 50 intelligence. It is very good. Doesn't have the fastest cast speed, but the scaling on it is amazing. If you make it magic infused after plus fiving it, because it does take Twinkling Titanite, it's very formidable. You can kill people in like a single crystal soul spear. And you get bonfire ascetics. We like those. Okay. Now, I'm going to deal with that asshole up there. That is a priestess, I believe her name is. And she totally whiffed. I don't know why. Oh, come on. There we go. I got her in the face. It does not look like she's prepared to come back, though. Whoa, she is. There's our next invader. I don't need this anymore. I don't feel like using the bonk either. So yeah, like I said, say goodbye to smooth gameplay. You're not gonna get out of it. You're not gonna get out of being invaded. No matter how much you want to. I don't particularly mind because I like PvP, but we'll see what happens. Hi! Oh my god, no manners. You like to parry, huh? Want me to show you how to parry? Oh, man. That was weird. Nope. Oh, goodness. Okay. You take no damage. I don't like that. Priestess up there firing away. Nope. Woo! That was a good fight. Damn. Talk about well-timed hits. That dude was good. Man, I don't even care that he's disrupting the walkthrough right now. That was a good fight. I don't get very many that are like that. Not anymore. Ooh, baby.
Okay, let's go back to the bonk. And get all of our health back. See, I feel like I could have performed a little better if I hadn't had that damn thing up there shooting at me. Can't stand her. Okay, let's dark weapon. And we're also going to sacred oath so we can do more damage. And then we're going to race our way up there. You. Now again, you, you see it's like pretty much amped up old knights. They do hit harder though, so be careful. They drop dragon charms as well. Okay, nothing else in here. Get out of my way. Alright. So when you go up here, there's going to be an entirely different form of them. That guy is annoying. They basically play whack-a-mole with your skull. I hate fighting them, so I'm just going to show you the most effective way to get rid of them. And you got one guy up here. No, it's good when they do that because it's free hits. It takes forever for them to recover from it. And I hate that little thing that they shoot. You know what? You're dying right now. You might be wondering why I'm being a cross bro right now. This thing is actually super powerful, and I'll show you. <clears throat> I'll show you just what it can do. Not a mimic, maybe a trap if I remember. Nope. Okay. Twinkle, sprinkle. And I'm gonna show you just how powerful this thing is when I get invaded next time. Which now the reason I said that it's gonna be very hard to avoid multiplayer in this place is because, for one, I'm not gonna sign out of Steam. I like multiplayer, but. Um, the whole thing about it is that I'm on New Game, I'm not on New Game Plus, and I'm at a particularly high soul range. This is 4.3 million, so, yeah, I'm gonna get invaded a lot. Okay, Drake Keeper Great Axe, one of my favies. Uh, this is why I like going up here, because you can cheese this guy from up here. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Yeah. I suppose I don't have to show you on an invader. I can just show you on this guy. As soon as I get my stamina back. Check out this damage from the special attack. Look at that. That's insane. You wouldn't believe how much damage it does to actual players. Because of the dark damage. You know what? Get their gauntlets. Nothing that I particularly care about. So, we got these guys that are over here like this. Even though they're just big walking suits of armor, you can, in fact, poison them. It is actually an incredibly viable method against them. It's the only method I recommend, to be honest. They block with their weapons like that, which is bullcrap. But, what are you going to do? And they're also weak to dark. Very weak to dark. So use it against them as much as you want. He's done. Whoa. You're getting a little close there, buddy. Whoa. Just get poisoned. Thank you. Hurry up and die. Okay, he didn't drop anything. I'm not fussing, though. So, opening this door is going to take you up to where you need to go to proceed to finish the level. Once you get to this point, it gets a little difficult because there's different kinds of drake keepers. But, um, there's also, like, dragon soldiers, or, like, dragon knights, I guess you could call them. They're part of the dragon covenant <clears throat> or dragon remnants i guess would be their technical name but once you get up there where that giant door is that you see that is the end of the level and there's no boss not unless you aggro him anyway so i'm going to show you an art an alternate route that is going to get you a lot of cool stuff okay now when you go down here 
There's two chests. This one is a mimic. You know how you can tell the difference? This one doesn't have a lock on it. That one has a lock. Sorry, Mimic, but you're getting bonked. Okay. And this Mimic drops the Washing Pole and a Petrified Dragon Bone. The Washing Pole is a very good weapon, be it overused, still powerful. And you also get a slab down here. Okay. We're going to encounter a new kind of Drake Keeper right here. This guy has the Great hammer. Ah, they do that stupid shield bash that I hate. It's a good thing we're two-shotting them, though. They're definitely pushovers for us. We got this little item hidden over here. Alright. Now over here, there's going to be an NPC invasion. I'm hoping that the NPC invades so that we don't have to deal with another player. And this in here is going to be a very good ring. There he is, Dragon Fang Villard. We'll swap out our second Dragon Ring for the third Dragon Ring. That way we get more health, more stamina, and more equip burden. Those are all very good things. Now this guy, he's not a particularly tough NPC. He isn't nearly as bad as the ones from the DLC, but he can kill you. He's got a Dragon Greatsword, he's got this shield, and he's got no brain. And that's how you deal with him. And when you go over here, you have the option to take the Petrified Egg. That's going to be a Covenant item that we need later. And don't miss this chest. The shield that you get in this chest isn't particularly good, but it looks freaking cool. I'll give it that. The Watch Dragon Parma. That's it. it. It looks really cool. I just wish it was better. It has a 90 for physical, decent for magic and fire, and everything else is just meh, but petrification and curse, it's definitely a PvE shield. So, And over here, you get one of my personal favorites. Viable for every magic build. Crystal Magic Weapon. Very good. Alright, now it's time for the Stretch of Doom. This part, definitely get your Poison Arrows out. Or if you have Dark Fog, or Poison Mist, something like that is also good. Poison Throwing Knives, you name it, if it's poisonous, it'll poison them. Okay, now don't fight these guys on the stairs, because the hitbox is weird. They can... oh crap, not the doorway. These guys can hit you right through your shield because of uh, the broken hitboxes on the stairs and he's poisoned. Sweet. You're better off just dodging. Oh, that Drake Keeper Ultra Greatsword, I think they dropped that as well. Yeah, the other one died up here. There it is. Dragon Charm. Now these guys... They're going to be as similar to fighting an NPC invader, something like that. So just pull them. Pull them both if you're confident. I know for a fact that I can smash them both, so I'm just going to do that. Whoa, he poised right through it. Oh, crap. Stupid hitboxes on the stairs die. You want some too? Get bonked. Get bonked. Fuck. Oh my god, come on. Okay, I don't know where this guy's gonna... There he is. Don't attack me while I'm fighting the PC... NPCs, my bad. Hi. <laughs> You know, it always circulates through my head. I always wonder... You go ahead and do what you need to do, man. <laughs> it always circles through my head. I wonder if any of the people watching recognize me. Yep, 
Aw. Woo! Running katanas, they're everywhere. <laughs> oh, damn, that did a lot. Come on. No! Ugh. Oh, shit, what's that? Ooh, it's a dagger. <laughs> I'll take that trade. Later. Okay. So we got rid of two of the dragon guys. Now we gotta get rid of a couple more up here. We've got two drake keepers that have hammers. Now once you shoot one, it aggroes both of them. So be on your toes. Poison him. Bait their attack so we can have some room. Get our stamina back. Poison the other. Get out of the way. I'm trying to poison your friend here. Oh, damn it. I hate that. Get out of the way. You can't save him. Okay, we don't need this anymore. This is just... Well, that's actually about to die. Never mind. Uh, use this. Why not? That's right. Turn around. <laughs> Mega damage. Okay, now we got this guy up here. Oh, jeez. What a parry whiff. Whoa. What you trying to do, homie? Ah. I'm trying to parry these guys. It's annoying. goodness. You are just being a jerk. Oh, that should have been a parry. But... Okay. If it's not. Don't you block me. Now these guys, I don't know, I guess it's different. They don't take as much damage from dark as the big guys do. Isn't that hilarious how I can just completely whiff against the NPC, take absolutely no parry whatsoever? I can't parry him once, and yet the invaders, I can just smash parries left and right. It's ridiculous. Don't ask me how it works. I couldn't answer you if I wanted to. Alright, now this here looks like a big, giant, scary boss, but he's actually optional. You don't have to kill this guy. He will aggro if you hit him three times, though. So, just be careful what you wish for. Fighting him, I don't recommend it. He's probably the most frustrating and annoying boss in the game, hands down. But if you talk to him, you'll get what you need. That's all you gotta do. Alright, and he gives you the Ashen Mist Heart. This is an item that is required to enter memories. I'm gonna find it. Oh, it's a key item. I keep forgetting. Damn it. Damn it. There it is. 
Manifestation of Ash and Mist received from the Ancient Dragon. The magic of the Ancient Dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the Withered. Okay, he doesn't say anything else. Now, if you want to, you can run forward, and you can smack him a few times and aggro him. I'm not going to fight him yet. We will kill him, just not at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and make my way back. Okay. So we've smashed this place. Um, let's see, what do I got? 41%. Eh, it's not bad. Okay. Well, I suppose the only thing left to do is start the giant memories. Because here's... Oh, God, I'm getting invaded already. <laughs> I guess I can keep this thing equipped. Why not? I think that priestess bastard up there responds. Possibly. Is it the same guy? That's weird. I hope it's not. I don't like censored names in this game. It's kind of annoying. No, it is him. What do you know? Hi. Oh, damn it. Didn't have enough poise to finish my attack. people off. I like it. Oh, damn. I don't know why I swung again. Whew. She got her revenge on me. I think it's the same person. I don't... I don't remember. I didn't mean to swing again after I did that run attack. That was actually supposed to be a dodge. Oh, well. Okay. So before I got interrupted with all this damn multiplayer. See, I, I don't know. <laughs> I sound like I'm complaining about the multiplayer, but I actually like it. This is another reason that I like playing on this character is because his soul memory is much higher than the Rock Samurai's, so I'll actually get more PvP. I'll actually get invaded in these areas. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to warp here to the Cardinal Tower so we can do the first memory. And my plan for the walkthrough, as I was trying to explain before I got invaded, is I'm going to do the giant memories first. And then, after I do the giant memories, I'm going to fight King Vendrick. Or actually, no. I'll do the Ancient Dragon first. That's what I'll do. After I do the giant memories, I will do King Vendrick. And then after... Or, no, why do I keep saying that? After I do the giant memories... Ah! Stay away. Jerks. After the giant memories... I will do... The Ancient Dragon. And then after the Ancient Dragon, I will have all the required giant souls that I need. And then I will fight King Vendrick because I have to bonfire a set of him. He's actually already dead on this character, but I'm going to show him anyway. And then after King Vendrick, we will go ahead and beat the game and fight Nashandra. So, we will continue the giant memories in the next episode, because that is all the time that I have for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I have been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark World HD, and I will catch all of you in the next episode. See you.